Hello all, welcome back and uh, this is Naveen from UI Brains. In this video, we are going to discuss about uh, uh, a JavaScript, uh, some other examples. So I have made uh, uh, a painter so with some triangles. So these are one, two, three, four triangles. So we are going to discuss uh, how to display these type of triangles in JavaScript because I'll give you one string. So that string you have to display in this type of triangles like one, two, three and four. So this pattern I want to display. So it means let's start with the first one. So you need to display a given string in a, this format. So plan is suppose you have a G O O D as a string. So this string, how you can display is first you say uh, G, let me zoom it G and the next G O and then uh, G O O and then uh, G O O D. Okay. So I wanted to display a string in this format. Uh, first of all, uh, can you take this as a str? Okay. Uh, first of all, tell me how to get the G. Uh, you may think like str dot uh, caret. Okay, fine. Uh, how to get this G O? Uh, you will write str dot substring, right? So str dot substring of. I wanna get from the, the index zero to the uh, two characters. So I can can I say zero comma two? So from zero I need two characters. The same thing. Can you write it uh, over here? This is gonna be zero comma one so zero onwards first character you want and same thing uh, when i write here this is zero comma three and this is going to be the zero comma four that's it correct uh, so you have to start your i value starts from this one i value starts from one up to what four it's not actually four because depend on the length of the string okay so i must be less than or equal to str dot length okay so i plus plus so let's let's make uh, this program now so first of all i go back here i'll make a comment like uh, for triangle string one so let's make a string i'll just take a message as my name and uh, i'll write a function so let uh, triangle one is equal to an arrow function here you can take a string and you write a logic and then uh, you can just say console.log of uh, so triangle one of message okay so how you write the logic is you have to loop it and i'll just take let's temporary string is equal to empty string and then i write a for loop let's i is equal to one i less than or equal to str dot length and then i plus plus here um, you have to get str dot substring of 0 comma i so i write the temporary string plus is equal to um, str i write like this uh, i write a backtick dollar str dot uh, substring str dot substring of 0 comma i okay and you can also make a slash n for the next line okay and then uh, you return the temporary string so i think this is the program and let's check once uh, go back here yes i got the same so it starts from n and then up to the this one so this triangle exactly looks like this triangle one okay uh, fine. Next, uh, let's start with the triangle number two. This one. Uh, how to make this triangle is let's, let's understand the scenario. So you need to display watch like this. So it means G O O D, and then uh, you display O O D, and then uh, O D, and then D. So I want to display a string in this format. So first, tell me uh, how you get this G O O D. You get the str directly right and tell me how to get this um, you can use the uh, substring using uh, can i write str dot substring of uh, um, one if i say str dot substring of one what happens 
from the index one everything you're gonna get i need the same right and can i say here uh, instead of substring of uh, zero so from zero everything you get okay looks good copy this paste and uh, paste this is gonna be the two this is gonna be the three so yes it, it works and then what about the i value so i value must be starts from zero and i less than or equal to what what is three so three is actually the length minus one so length minus one okay uh, so this is the scenario so let's make a program for this structure so first of all uh, i will uh, do one thing um, i'll just copy this i paste it here i just try to change something to this is triangle uh, 2 and uh, this is also triangle 2 and i don't need these things yeah uh, so what you have to do is uh, logic starts from 0 to length minus 1 uh, here for let i equal to 0 and i less than or equal to str dot length minus 1 and i plus plus so you need to add str dot substring of the i value so a temporary string plus is equal to backtick i just write uh, um, str dot substring of uh, substring of um, i right it's i value and then uh, you'll add some slash n for the next line okay so finally you just say return temp string okay uh, looks good and let's check here oh uh, you got uh, yeah we got actually proper one but thing is you don't have a space see this last m has to be in a straight line like uh, this one but uh, it was removed as space it, it doesn't have a space so it has come in this way but uh, i need to have a space also uh, how to make a space is here zero space one space two space three space so zero space is nothing but the i value space uh, but uh, one space you can add but you want two spaces means you need to write another for loop um, i'll do one thing i'll take uh, another function so let's add space is equal to an arrow function so you just take any number so depend on the number i want to give a space okay so let temporary space is equal to empty string uh, for let i equal to one and i less than or equal to number and i plus plus i just need to append a space so temporary space plus equal to some space and finally return the temporary space so this function what it does is it will take if you pass five it will give you five spaces string if you give one so one space string so that way so the same add space function i'm going to call it here because before every uh, i value i mean before every character i need to get the space uh, i write dollar add a space of uh, i so what happens um, you will get a space now check yes exactly what we are looking for is same and you got all m's in a straight line as we expected here okay uh, this is one string and this is the second string and the next uh, we need a string in this format so let's start with triangle 3 uh, so how triangle 3 looks is um, yeah g o o d next uh, g o o and then uh, g o and then g so we need this triangle and again uh, how to get a g o what is str okay but how to get this uh, str dot uh, substring of uh, you can provide 0 comma um, 0 comma 3 you can provide and the same thing if you want to make it here this is will be 0 comma 2 okay and this will be a 0 comma 1 then what about this one this will be a 0 comma 4 okay looks good uh, so 4 3 2 1 okay 
uh, we got it and uh, i value starts from what 4 and uh, i must be up to watch up to 1 okay you have to reduce the value 1 so 4 is more 4 is watch the length so you can take directly length okay length and reduce up to this one and i minus minus so this is the uh, i mean the plan so let's make uh, this logic now so i will uh, this is a triangle 2 right okay so triangle 2 and let's make uh, a triangle 3 so what is triangle 3 is let's make a message is equal to my name and here uh, let's is equal to one uh, arrow function so this is gonna take uh, a string so you write a logic and then uh, you can just print uh, the logic so triangle uh, 3 okay fine so how to write logic here is let uh, temporary string is equal to an empty string so I write uh, a for loop let i is equal to watch str dot length and then i greater than or equal to 1 so as per our scenario and then uh, i minus minus so what you can do is uh, uh, you can just need to append the substring of 0 comma i so let's say temporary string plus is equal to back tick let us say dollar str dot uh, substring of uh, um, 0 comma i and then you add a slash n for the next line and finally you would say say return temporary string um, okay looks good and check yep you got it same uh, this one so full string to the single character so it is exactly same as what we expected okay so this is a triangle string 3 uh, let's make a last one that is uh, 4 uh, this one and again you need a space here so let's see uh, so triangle 4 is you need a D O D O O D G O O D and we need a space also here okay uh, first tell me how to get the D you will get str dot caret right uh, okay so you have to get this str dot uh, substring of what uh, uh, can I say 0 1 2 can I say substring of 2 so 2 onwards everything you get right 0 1 2 okay so can I say this uh, substring of uh, um, 1 from 1 index everything you get can I make this as uh, 0 so from 0 you get everything and what about this one so you will make a 3 okay if you make 3 uh, from the 3 index everything means the single character so it means your i value must be is equal to length minus 1 and uh, i up to 0 and then i minus minus so this is actually the uh, for loop logic so let's start with uh, this example um here um let's make uh, same logic let's make copy this i'm gonna paste it let's say triangle four so this is gonna be the triangle four and this is also the triangle four yeah let's make a, a proper logic so what's the logic is uh, uh, starts from length minus 1 up to 0 so for latch um, i i is equal to um, length minus 1 so str dot length minus 1 and then i greater than or equal to 0 up to 0 and then uh, i minus minus so here uh, you have to get the uh, watch you have to get this uh, substring so let's say temporary string plus is equal to back tick i write um, dollar so str dot uh, substring of um, i value 
and then uh, that's it slash n and it ends fine uh, so let's check here uh, you got it but uh, I need to have a space so we already made an add space function so I just write uh, add space using uh, add space and I just provide i okay so let's check once yes exactly you got a same okay the same triangle what we are expected to be is this one okay uh, fine so this is an example of triangle 4 okay um, fine this is 6 so what I suggest is uh, please practice all the previous uh, I mean syntactical rules and uh, how to create a f functions uh, condition statements and all and then uh, try to do this type of uh, programmatical questions so you'll be uh, very I mean you will you'll, you can practice more on this uh, coding questions so that you will be uh, learning next uh, DOM manipulation in that you have to write the processing logic and these data we are going to display on HTML uh, now one more conclusion here is uh, till now we have already discussed uh, only the background uh, processing logic we are not discuss anything which we can display on the HTML everything we have in the backend console so going forward uh, we're gonna see everything on the HTML because we have to see the every content on the HTML so that is the concept of DOM manipulation so from next video we're gonna start with DOM manipulation okay so thank you so much for watching and please subscribe to my channel and we'll meet in the next video thank you